Hey guys, so if your Elgato breaks, well, technically breaks, so basically what I mean by that is uh, basically on the Elgato software if you're using a Mac and it says no device found, uh, well, it's not really your Elgato, so don't buy a new one because that's what I did and I had to return it. Uh, basically, what is wrong with it uh, this is after all you do all the stuff they say online so like unplug it for like an hour and plug it back in if that doesn't fix it um, or uninstall the software and install it again that kind of thing uh, or you know unplug everything do a RAM reset plug everything back in if that doesn't work okay so this is what you have to do you have to make a new profile on your Mac for some reason it screws up after a while. I used it for a year and it fixed. Uh, I fixed it by making a new profile. Still doesn't work on the old profile, just on the new one. And then that worked for a week and now it's screwed up once again. Yay. So uh, from now on I'm not even going to screw with making a new profile. I'm going to show you a little shortcut to do. Every single Mac has the option or the ability to go into guest mode. Uh, so I'll show you right here. I don't know if you can kind of see that in a way, yeah, so that says uh, other users, Alan Harrington and guest user. Um, I'm signed into all three of these right now, but um, the one that says will it work, that's the one I made to see if I can make the Elgato work, which it worked for about a week. And uh, so now I'm just going to use the guest profile. When you go over to the guest profile, you're gonna have to, uh, when you click on um, the Elgato game capture uh, software, you're gonna have to obviously agree to everything and then just basically plug everything back in and it'll work. And uh, every time you go into another profile, so if you go back to your main profile, uh, it basically resets everything. And uh, by doing that, it's essentially able to work for Ever, and you don't have to worry about this uh, BS happening over and over and over again. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video because I'm pretty sure this is the only video that actually gives you the damn way to fix it. Because I searched for like two, three days to try and figure it out. I had to contact Elgato, and that's after about eight emails. Uh, they were able to say, hey, just make a new profile. If they only said that the first time, it would be so much easier. Anyways, so until next time. Peace.